Hi everyone, I'm Steve here with David Wright. David is a personal trainer at Fitness for 10 in Carson City. Thanks for being with us, David. Thanks for having me, Steve. All right, so we talked about TRT, is it safe? Um, are you enhanced on TRT? Absolutely, you are enhanced on TRT. And that's the point of it. We talked about that. We're going to talk about creatine. Is creatine safe? But you are also enhanced on creatine. So there's so many things that you, you can do and that you can take and that you can eat that are going to enhance your physical performance. And I think that sometimes that's looked at as a negative or like cheating. Cheating what? <laughs> What, what am I cheating? You know, that's not fit. Why? Why don't you do it too? <laughs> you know, so creatine, you think it's safe, David? Yeah. You know, Steve, you, uh, so you and I were kind of talking about before we, we started here. I think creatine, honestly, is probably one of the safest, in my opinion, um, supplements that are out there. And I'm not talking about supplements like you and I were discussing, not necessarily for even just people who go to the gym or work out or compete like I do anything just for anybody. Um, it, it is very safe. I mean, and there's probably hundreds, if not thousands of studies, I don't even know how many, there's tons out there that you can look at that have gone over, you know, the safety of creatine, the health benefits of creatine. I mean, there's a ton of information out there, uh, but yet there's still a lot of, uh, thoughts for some reason that it's unsafe or, you know, uh, to your point, it enhances you. And of course, yes, it absolutely does. And if you think about things that enhance you, to your point, could be your diet, could be your exercise, all of those things enhance something. So your general well-being enhance your health. So I don't know when enhance got such a, a bad rap, just as a word, uh, but especially when it surrounds any kind of fitness or health, it's kind of like a, a a no, a no, no, a gray zone that people don't want to go, but it's like, think about that. Enhance. Of course you want to enhance your well-being, your health, your performance, you know, energy, whatever the case might be. Doesn't mean you're doing dangerous things. Example, creatine. Creatine is fantastic. I mean, I love creatine. It helps me with all of, you know, my recovery. You know, I'm in the gym a lot more than some people are, but, you know, for recovery, it helps a lot with even looking at overall, like, my vascularity as I'm working out, like it, you can really tell, and it's not because it's cheating anything or it's, it's doing anything extra. It's not helping me lift heavier weights. That's, you know, my muscles are there, but it helps really, you know, get everything going. So I, I just think that people really need to ensure that they do some research and not only look at the negatives of what some people say, look at all of the actual, you know, peer reviewed research that's been done all, all of this over probably decades at this point. Um, creatine, in my opinion, is probably one of the safest things out there. Yeah. And it does so many positive things. And I, I think the word enhanced has kind of got mixed up with unsafe. Mm -hmm. You know, those are two different things. Doing things that are harmful to your health and enhanced something because I think uh, they can both be true in a way. You can be enhanced while you're harming your health. If of you're course. doing steroids and all kinds of different drugs that are going to enhance your performance, some of those things, a lot of those things can also harm your health. Mm -hmm. So, but they're not the same. And creatine is something that, in my opinion, I mean, you can talk to your doctor or go read some studies. There's more studies on creatine than anything. I use creatine monohydrate. I use a powder. I put it in water. You can't taste it. I take five grams a day. Some people load it at the beginning uh, where they take 20 grams um, to fill up. What it, what it helps do is put energy in the muscle cell. It helps with ATP. Um, and so does NAD. If you want to know more about NAD, I have an affiliate with in vigor medical, that stuff is amazing. Absolutely, Absolutely is. amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's, it's similar in that it will help um, increase energy. If you have questions on it, just put them in the comment section. I can point you where to go. Um, but, and you can actually feel that energy. The other thing that both those things help is 
cognitive function. Your thinking. Creatine has been shown to improve uh, cognitive ability or function. And hey, if you're 75, if you're 80, you should be taking creatine. You can ask your doctor. But yes, it's going to enhance your mental ability. And who wouldn't be enhanced? So don't confuse enhanced with unsafe because something could enhance you physically and it could be unsafe, but they're different. Yeah, and Steve, I think I think one of the things that people kind of in their mind when they when they picture, you know, enhanced is uh, and I, I use this kind of phrase a lot. It's kind of like somebody in a, a back alley and, you know, you know, injecting some kind of crazy drugs and, you know, doing stuff, that kind of thing, you know, is absolutely, of course, unsafe. And I don't think anybody would disagree, Stupid. but right. And, and that's one of those things where, you know, you read about the bodybuilder over here or this other the sports athlete over here that, that passed away at, mm -hmm. at age, whatever, and they were super young and, and all these things, which is unfortunate because they do get wrapped up sometimes. And, wanting to take these other performance enhancing things to get to whatever their their particular goal or need or, or want is at that point. But this is something completely different. So when we talk about, like like you said, enhance, doesn't mean it's any of that stuff. So we got to kind of get away from that being a negative thing because who would not want to enhance their health, their energy, you know, their, their physical well-being doesn't mean you're going to go extreme to the other direction of enhancement. I would say that that's like a, a whole different, that's a whole different side of stuff. So what we're talking about is, you know, whether it was our last video with the TRT or in this particular video about creatine, that's something that can increase your health without being one of those dangerous uh, things that, you know, Steve and I and pretty much everybody else would agree, you know, those things that, you know, those, those drugs that are, you know, crazy, most of them illegal, all sorts of different things. Those are not what we're talking about. And those are something that absolutely dangerous stuff like creatine, man, that's, that's fantastic. And again, talk to your doctor, of course, but um, those creatine is something that's, it's so beneficial for everyone um, that it's an enhancement to, to all sorts of different functions of the body that would be really good for anybody. So it's not just bodybuilders. It's not just people that work out at the gym a lot or, you know, do those types of things. It's, it's one of those things that just, in, you know, helps in general. For sure. And, um, you know, even if you're not exercising, creatine is going to make a difference for you nine times out of 10, you're going to notice something. Now, now I'm not saying don't exercise because exercise is huge. Mm -hmm. Exercise will change your life, especially if you're not doing it and you start doing it. Exercise will change your life. And creatine is one of those things that's been proven to help your strength, to help uh, energy in the muscle and cognitive um, abilities. It's been shown to do a lot of positive things and enhance you in a lot of ways. So don't be afraid of being enhanced uh, by something and um, don't be ashamed of trying to enhance um, your abilities, your body, your function, because enhancement is a good thing, in my opinion. Yeah, and I think that's part of what holds people back is they go, oh, well, I don't want to be one of those people, those people, you know, that are enhancing themselves or, you know, performance enhancing. Well, performance enhancing could mean, again, and I'm kind of speaking more of at a gym, you know, weightlifting type of perspective from my end, but could be something like creatine. Is that going to make you super strong overnight? No, of course not. But it is going to enhance, you know, your function. It's going to help in everyday life anyway. But especially if you're really, you're going to come, you're working out, you're doing all these things. Creatine is very beneficial too. So that's one of those things that keeps people from doing some things that are healthy for them and not unsafe is that that kind of uh, that thought of well I'm, I'm kind of steering away from it because it's performance enhancing or it's it's enhancing at all and i don't want people to think i'm you know some cheating. kind of cheating things or whatever when in reality that's it's the exact opposite you're doing a benefit for your body and 
it doesn't cheat anything. It actually just helps you be to where you should be at, you know, your maximum, you know, health levels. It's just one of many things, but it's definitely an important, you know, supplement that I think everybody should, should take a look at. Yeah. Eating clean, uh, getting plenty of protein, uh, getting your macros right, your carbs, your protein, your fat, and eating clean, get the processed foods out of your diet, eat a healthy diet, and exercise, guess what? You just enhanced yourself. Congratulations. Right. Uh, that, that's a great way to do it, and that's maybe the first place that you should start. So, uh, David, if people want to follow you on social media, see what's going on with your contests and uh, – just with your tips and things like that, how do they follow you on social media? So they can find me uh, on Instagram at David Wright underscore fitness. And then I also have a personal training page at Wright Fitness Training on Instagram. All right. Thanks for being with us, David. Thanks, Steve.